What's up, bitches? I'm stud. Another outdoor malt liquor video on this lovely fucking Wednesday. It's pretty hot today. Had a nice sweaty day. The missus and I got the yard done. Well, she doesn't mowing. I did the, uh, we don't have a weed eater. So I took some pruners and, uh, I guess you could say we need it with pruners. She doesn't like me to mow the yard because of my lower back. So I don't think I just make her mow the yard. I do mow the yard every once in a while. But she'd rather me not. I guess that's fine. She cares about me. She loves me. That's my baby. But yeah, a nice ice cold King Cobra after a nice long extended day at work. Mm. Man, so our little downtown, I don't even call it a downtown, it's our main street. We live in a small town. And on the main strip, they got some businesses, a few restaurants, a little, little microbrewery, um, pizza place, Chinese place, a Mexican restaurant, and some little small shops. But every Wednesday, when it gets nice out, this is the first official Wednesday of the summer they did this. They put signs out in the middle of the road, 10 miles per hour, and they call it a cruise-in. So every year, every week, the same fucking cars, classic or just people driving their new nice cars, come up and park. And then motherfuckers will walk across, back and forth across the street because people can go 10, so they just need to stop for them or some shit. It's really fucking silly. I mean, you can only see the same car so many times. They'll just They'll do this all summer until it gets cold again. And it gets old, because every Wednesday, you gotta creep through that bitch, unless, and that's the quickest way to get anywhere we wanna go. Uh, it's stupid. You know, it's not like a classic car show. There are some classic cars. Not, like, nothing extravagant. Uh, to be honest, I see nicer cars on Friday evenings and Saturday evenings. Like, people, like I've seen a Ferrari parked up there, a Bentley, you know, Random shit you don't, you don't ever see around here. Um, I haven't seen a Lamborghini around here or a Viper. The brand new uh, Vets, like the big souped up editions. Uh, one dude works down there, drives like a Beamer, he has a Maserati. Uh, I, I see better cars on the weekends than I do with this fucking cruise in. Yeah, it's fucking stupid, so I'm just sitting out here. Now those cars drive by. It is what it is. About to make me a frozen Jack's bacon cheeseburger pizza. I love those things. Heavy on the uh, sriracha and crushed red pepper. Every once in a while, uh, get a little creative and throw some extra meat on it and some shredded cheese. Not tonight. I just want the regular. But uh, I don't know how you guys, if you guys watching the TV. So I'm missing McStud got me into American Idol this season. Gotta be honest, I've uh, never watched a full episode of that. And since its uh, inception, oh boy, people walking by. So, not since uh, Ruben Stutter was on, but I actually, I'd wait till he got on and watch it. Because that was one of my favorite, one of my favorites of all time. Fucking stellar. Ruben's a fucking man. So this whole season, I was waiting for that smooth R&B singing voice, you know, and everyone that had it got voted off. So I was irritated with the voting, you know, and the winner was just ridiculous. But at least everyone, other than the auditions, where you, you get the cheesy singers and shit, but on the finale, at least, and then the last top you know, 15, top 10, everyone could fucking sing. They had some fucking pipes on them. Fucking stellar. I mean, voice-wise. <laughs> so, we finished that up. So last night, we were looking for something to watch, so I saw that the, the voice finale was on. I'm not a big fan of those shows either. Like, I've seen bits and pieces of it, and I sit in their chairs, hit their thing. I noticed that Kelly Clarkson was on it, which is weird because she was an American Idol winner. Now she's on the fucking voice. And what makes it even more fucked up 
The finalists for The Voice were fucking horrid. It was like sitting at a goddamn karaoke bar and listening to these people who thought they could sing. And they picked a winner out of these. Like, none of these people would have fucking made it on Idol. And any one of the top 15, even top top 30, would have won on the fucking voice. Easy, hands down. It's like, what the fuck? And the production is shitty. And then you got Carson Daly. I don't know if y'all remember TRL back in the day on MTV. But now Carson Daly looks like he sits on the couch and just fucking chugs beer and eats pizzas all day. Like, he's, it, it, it's fucking silly. And he has no fucking personality when he's announcing the show. At least Ryan Dick Crist adds some flavor to it, I guess, to American Idol. But yeah, that was fucking irritating. Malt liquor. They're like, well, why the fuck are you talking to us about fucking American Idol and The Voice? I don't know, maybe some of you guys watch it. I've not my favorite show. But I watch it through Missing and Stud. And, you know, I, the ones I want to win never, obviously, will never win. Unless, I, I don't understand because. America starts voting, and we probably got all these kids uh, influenced by all these uh, famous people, and they pick who by looks, probably, uh, by gender, um, or what they think is fucking good singing. I don't know how many adults actually vote. Miss McStud voted. I didn't vote, so I, I can't really bitch about who won, but who's to say my vote would have fucking mattered anyway? Just like voting for the goddamn. President of the United States. Uh, it's fucking irritating. Put my cap down. In the grass, I guess. That works. <sighs> Another hot, sweaty day at the warehouse today. There goes a shitty little car. Probably going down the cruise end. Like this little shitty little piss yellow. I don't know what the fuck was. It looked like shit. That's not to say I have a hatred for classic cars, but... Whatever. I see nicer cars drive by most days. You know, we're, uh... You know, we're just, uh, hop-skipping away from a really wealthy city, so we get, you know, every once in a while, some really nice uh, vehicles cruising through. The Bentley was by far the most expensive car I've seen here. Uh, that dude who drives the Maserati, the Beamer, and I forget what the other fucking vehicle he has is. Uh, yeah. There's nothing quite better. The sun's going down, so I'm not in the sunlight. It's cooled off. Birds are chirping. It was like a, a small breeze. You can't really tell. It's like just enough to doesn't even really blow the leaves. It was fucking amazing. A lovely day for fucking malt liquor. Fuck yeah. We're at, we're at, is that eight minutes? Eight fucking motherfucking minutes. Once again, thanks everyone who watches. You guys fucking rock. really a nice night to grill out. Like everyone's had dinner. Except for me and Mrs. McStud. Mrs. McStud's on a, uh, she's watching while she eats. Like I said, the other video, we're working out again. I don't really have to watch what I eat, thankfully. And half the time when we do our workouts, I've already had a, a tasty beverage in me. Like last night, I was already, uh, Three quarters way through a King Cobra before we uh, worked out. For those of you who didn't know, Miss McStud and I used to do insanity, like hardcore insanity. I was actually in the best shape of my life when I did that, and so was she. And we even bought a. She did insanity. I ended up buying a insanity asylum, which was a little more challenging. But fun. Oh, I had 
have you know that vehicle is like an SUV. That was a, that was like a newer Jeep Cherokee, and it sounds like a fucking little rice burning piece of shit. I'm I didn't expect that when I drove by. What the fuck? <laughs> so we get people through here the cruise. Anyways, we uh did some pretty hardcore workouts uh, several years ago. And we haven't really worked out in a long time. So we're trying to get back in it and we're working our way up. There's I got I made some workouts up for us to help us get back in the swing of things. Thankfully, thankfully for me, I can still enjoy my malt liquor and keep a healthy figure. I do a lot of uh, heavy lifting at work and shit. It's hot, I sweat. It's pretty fast paced. That's okay. The pay is shit. I got paid way more to do basically nothing. At my old job, I worked night shift for a long time, and in a month's time span, I used the uh, Netflix free month to watch the whole, uh, all the seasons of Breaking Bad in a month. It was fucking amazing. But I uh, switched jobs after, we, well, I, I was driving back and forth after we moved up here, so I was almost like an hour drive. Fucking sucked. But I found a job. And actually, Miss McStud works like literally two minutes away from me right now. So I get to see her on breaks and lunch breaks. Which is nice. So we ride together to work. Like this color. Sweet tits. Oh, speaking of malt liquor, I don't know if I ever told you guys this. Back when I had another job, um, I went, I stopped at a speedway on my way into work, and it was like, you know, like a homeless guy I asked how he spare change. I'm like, yeah, so I gave him the change in my pocket. I went in a speedway. I was getting my stuff, and he just happened to be sitting in, like in front of me after I gave him the change. And that man bought <laughs> a, uh, it was still the plastic bottle at that time. It was a 42 ounce of Magnum malt liquor. I'm like, oh, so I just gave him some, I gave the man change on my pocket so we can get him a warm, a warm 42 ounce of uh, Magnum malt liquor. And I even made a Facebook status about that back then. Like, well, Had I been the way I was then that I am now, I would've just bought him a fucking 40. Really, I mean shit, you gotta do what you gotta do. I, I didn't know to be impressed or pissed off. Like, I, I thought he wanted it for food or something. But he honestly wanted it for alcohol, but he wanted it for malt liquor. Cheers to him. Fucking A. About time to kill this bitch. It's been nice spending another 15 minutes out here with you guys. It's a uh, motorcyclist and it's for woman sitting on the back. This is uh, much needed after today. It's so hot. The heat really wears on you. Nothing like cold motherfucking malt beverage. Malt liquor to uh, make your day.
am. Put the lid on the coffin. There you go. I'm a stud. It's been a nice evening outside enjoying a malt beverage. And I will catch you bitches later. Mm.